New York is looking to ban all gas-powered ATVs and UTV sales. Hey there, EV lovers. Welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for everything electric vehicles. If you're as pumped about the future of transportation as we are, then you've come to the right place. We're here to bring you the latest news, reviews, and tips on all things EV. But before we dive into the electric goodness, we need your help to keep our battery charged. So, if you enjoy what you see, give that subscribe button a little love, hit the like button to show your support, and drop us a comment with your thoughts or questions. We promise, we read every single one of them. You'll have until 2035 if passed, but that isn't that far away. We've talked a lot about the efforts to push electrification into the mainstream here at Ride Apart, and while there's a host of things being done by manufacturers, there's also a lot being done by local, state, and federal governments too. The latest to adopt a more aggressive timeline of EV adoption and stance on future electrification is New York State. In a new Senate bill, 2023 S8000, the state's legislature aims to kill the sales of all gasoline-powered ATVs. And it does so in a way that it also mean UTVs are affected too. Here's what it all means for you. According to the bill's purpose, this bill requires 100% of ATVs sold in New York to be electric by 2035, modernizes related definitions, creates a new fee schedule for both electric and gas-powered ATVs, and directs a feasibility study on installation of charging stations along NY's ATV trails. So you have a little time before the bill comes into effect, and it won't outright ban prior-purchased gasoline-powered ATVs and UTVs. It also states that the bill increases the weight limit of ATVs to 2,000 pounds dry weight. There are your UTVs. The bill also aims at looking into the feasibility of the state installing an electric charging network throughout New York's off-road trails, which is interesting for a few reasons. Recently, Polaris worked with the state of Michigan to provide a charging station along a trail route so the company's Ranger EV could be charged. But it's a pilot study, not a full network. And adopting a full-scale network out in the woods could prove to be antithetical to keeping the woods woodsy, you know? I'm not saying that we shouldn't adopt EVs. They're great for outdoor fun, ripping through the woods in silence, and for hunting. But is a fill-up station in the middle of nowhere the answer? Plus, who's maintaining them? What happens if a cable is cut? I have questions. The bill has yet to be passed into law at the time of writing, but it's working its way through the New York legislature and could very well be passed within the year. But what do you all think? Let us know in the comments below. And that's a wrap for today's episode of EVpedia. We hope you had as much fun as we did exploring the world of electric vehicles. Remember, your likes, subscribes, and comments are the sparks that keep our motor running. So, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and stay charged. Until next time, keep it electric.